So let's talk about aging versus the diseases of aging. No doubt you've all seen the whack-a-mole uh, at an arcade at some point, right? You've got this little machine. Randomly, these little moles pop up out of the machine, and then you get a hammer, and you whack down the moles one at a time. So that is sort of a good way to think about the diseases of aging. Think about you've got a mole that's named Alzheimer's disease. You've got a mole that's named type 2 diabetes. You've got a mole that's named cancer. You've got a mole for heart disease. Now, the way medicine currently attacks the problem is it looks at disease. It does not consider aging itself to be a disease. It considers all of these individual things to be diseases. And so the little mole comes up for Alzheimer's disease. You've got to try and grab a specialized hammer for that particular mole and whack it down. Then the mole pops up for cancer. You've got to grab a completely different mallet for that and whack it down because we have totally different medicines to deal with cancer, right? Same thing with heart, heart disease or whatever else. And all of these diseases become exponentially more likely as we get older, right? Doesn't mean that teenagers don't get cancer, right? Little kids, unfortunately, sadly get cancer, but the chance of an 80-year-old getting cancer is far higher than a 15-year-old. Right? Now, what if there were a way where instead of grabbing these individual mallets for these individual moles, we could just unplug the machine? Right? Or what if we could reach into the machine and just find a way to slow it down and stop the moles from coming out so fast? That would be pretty awesome.